Welcome back everybody to another exciting episode. Today we're diving into a topic that could change your entire vacation experience if you're someone who's always wondering what else there is to do outside of the classic Orlando parks. Well, whether you have a disability, are helping someone out with one, or just making our community more inclusive, come with us as our new series explores the adventure options in Central Florida for those with mobility limitations. Hi, I'm Dino with Inform Mobility, and welcome to today's video, where we've come out to Kissimmee Loop Trail at Shingle Creek. If you're looking for something different to do in Orlando, or are burned out on the typical Disney attractions, then this hidden gem is definitely worth a visit. Located just a short drive from the main theme parks, it's a perfect way to immerse yourself in the pulse of our magical state of Florida, while simultaneously taking a break from the crowds of tourists in all of the theme parks. When we visit, we always park at the Osceola County Welcome Center and History Museum. Also found on a map is Shingle Creek Bike Trailhead, 4155 West Vine Street in Kissimmee. We'll put a link in the description below. From the parking lot, we started south, under the bridge, and popped up right where the kayaking rental spot is. Continued south, and then turning east, we followed the path into the morning sun. Many people are wondering if it's possible to explore the Kissimmee Loop Trail on a mobility scooter. And the answer is yes! The majority of the trail is paved, and is mostly flat and wide, perfect for wheelchair or mobility scooters. However, there are some areas that will be difficult to navigate, such as this uneven terrain from the incompleted part of the trail. If you're planning to come and explore the loop trail on a mobility scooter, there are a few things you should prepare beforehand. First, let's make sure your mobility scooter is in good working condition. Ask the rental company if they'll come rescue you, or the scooter, if there's an emergency. Or, if you own yours, do you have a backup plan? Some paths are roadside, but most Ubers won't lift you out of where there are no cross streets. Pro tip, download a map of the area onto your phone, and then, even if service does get bad, you'll still have basic map info, where you are, and even where you parked your car. Two, do you have a battery strong enough with a full enough charge to last the entire trail? There are not very many readily accessible power outlets along the path to get a juice boost from. It's also important to bring plenty of water, sunscreen, and snacks. Finally, be prepared for all weather conditions. In Florida, it rains every day, everywhere. <laughs> at some point. So dress appropriately, which means bring a poncho. <laughs> you can tune into our other video where we go over tips and tricks for riding your scooter in wet conditions. Note, don't. Kissimmee is working towards creating an expansive trail system, inclusive for bikers and runners, and especially wheelchairs and mobility scooters. One of the things that sets this trail system apart is that it combines routes through the urban core of the city with segments that run through seemingly untouched parts of the natural surroundings. The two main paved trails are the Kissimmee Loop Trail and the Shingle Creek Regional Trail. The Loop Trail runs along canals, tree-lined pathways, forest-covered areas, and the John Young Parkway Pedestrian Bridge. But today's adventure eventually will finish our ride at Shingle Creek Regional Trail. Part of a trail network in partnership with Osceola County and Orange County. The trail offers natural environment for outdoor recreation nature lovers, and yes, even wheelchair and mobility scooters. Once complete, the trail will connect the Kissimmee Lakefront Park, 
the Shingle Creek National Park, Lancaster Ranch Park, and the Orange County sections of the trail. In addition to the sense of independence and freedom, exploring the trail on a mobility scooter offers it also offers a unique perspective on natural surroundings. The slower pace of the mobility scooter allows for a more immersive experience, allowing individuals to take in the sights, sounds, and even the smells of the environment. It's a great way to spot wildlife, observe changing colors of the clouds, and appreciate the beauty of the landscape. Plus, the trail is well maintained and accessible, making it a safe and enjoyable experience for all. So whether you're a nature enthusiast or simply looking for a new adventure, the Kissimmee Loop Trail is definitely worth exploring on, on a mobility scooter. For individuals with mobility limitations, completing the trail can be a significant achievement and a source of pride. The trail offers a variety of surfaces and challenges, from smooth paved paths to more rugged terrain. The Kissimmee Loop Trail on a Mobility Scooter is an excellent way to experience the great outdoors. Being out in nature has shown to reduce stress and improve overall well-being. The trail's scenic views and peaceful surroundings can help individuals feel more relaxed and at ease and enjoy the benefits of limited physical activity but still have social interaction. The loop trail itself is about six miles long and it takes around two hours to complete. It's a loop so you'll end up back where you started making it easy to navigate. We went an extra long ride today and went all the way north out to the end of the trail and turned around and there are plenty of signs along the way but you really have to pay attention so you won't get lost. We got turned around a few times but everything is clearly labeled. One of the highlights of the Kissimmee Loop Trail in Shingle Creek was the abundance of wildlife we saw along the way. We kept our eye out for alligators in the waters, we're even right next to the homes. And there's turtles and birds, and if you're lucky, you might even see a manatee. The trail has several bridges that you can use as viewing platforms which allow you to see the wildlife up close and personal. It's an experience that nature lovers won't want to miss. And of course for the history buffs among us, the Shingle Creek Pioneer Village is a must-visit spot with a glimpse of what life was like in the 1800s. And then, after following the path back to the Osceola History Museum, you can enjoy some AC and a wonderful free museum. We'll add a link to our video where we went in to check out and see if they were ADA compliant and had the right accommodations. So not only is exploring the Kissimmee Loop Trail on a mobility scooter a great way to experience the beauty of Florida, but it also provides a sense of independence and freedom for those with mobility limitations. Being able to traverse a trail on a mobility scooter allows individuals to enjoy the outdoors and connect with nature in a way that may not have been possible before. So if you or someone you know has a wheelchair or a mobility scooter, don't hesitate to take advantage of the opportunity to explore the Kissimmee Loop Trail and Shingle Creek Trail and all it has to offer. It's a reminder that technology can make a huge difference in people's lives, allowing anyone to achieve greatness despite any limitations they may have. Be sure to let us know if there are any exciting places you would like us to visit next. You can check out our other videos, and if you found this video helpful, 
be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you'll never miss out on any of our latest adventures. I'm Dino, here in Orlando, Florida, with InforMobility, information for your mobility adventures. Thanks for watching, and be sure to join us next time as we head out again to answer your rolling questions.